Nebuchadnezzar, he came to the throne. He became the king of Babylon. And then he gained power in the area and he threatened and he put Judah under tribute to him. Then finally he invaded and he took away many people from Judah and he destroyed Jerusalem. And one of these many captives taken away, carried away by King Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, El Ezekiel was one of them. At the time, Ezekiel was the priest of the Lord, and he was taken away so that perhaps he can bring the words of the Lord to the captives in Babylon, and perhaps he could bring comfort of the Lord to the people. And also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Each one had four faces, and each one had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like the soles of a calf's feet. They sparkled like the color of a burnished bronze. The hands of a man were under their wings on their four sides, and each of the four had faces and wings. Their wings touched one another. The creatures did not turn left turn when they went, but each one went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man. Each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side. Each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side. And each of the four had the face of an eagle. Those were the fair, their faces, their wings stretched upward. Two wings of each one touched one another and two covered their bodies, and each one went straight forward. They went wherever the Spirit wanted to go, and they did not turn when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches going back and forth among the living creatures. The fire was bright, and out of the fire went out lightning. This scary image we just read was the vision the priest Ezekiel saw in his vision. And after that, he was called to be a prophet of the Lord in Babylon. So these are pretty nice picture describing very well what uh, Ezekiel saw in his vision. He saw some creatures, but each creature has four different faces. Uh, human face, and right side, a uh, lion's face, and left side, ox, and maybe back, a face of an eagle. And each creature had four wings, and two of them upward, and two of them they used to uh, clothe their bodies. And they had uh, straight legs, and they were sparkling like rubbed uh, bronze breasts. And they had feet, and they had hands, and even there were wheels around them. And the torches back and forth, so this is very scary, isn't it? And we may wonder what the Lord really wants to tell his prophet Ezekiel. Prophet Ezekiel later said, these images, he called them cherubim. But we know what is a cherubim, what is a cherub, because the Lord placed the cherubim to protect his uh, tree of life in the Garden of Eden. 
After moving out uh, Adam and Eve, the Lord placed them so that he can protect, he can watch them. And also we know that the Lord later, he commanded Moses to make the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant had a cover which is called the mercy seat. And Moses had to put cherubim on the top of the mercy seat. So its image is not exactly the same, but they have wings, and they, their job was protecting very precious things belonging to the Lord. So we can guess, perhaps these creatures picture and show what the Lord does for us to guide us and to govern us and to protect us from all evil, possible evils. And think about the face. It has four different faces. Human face maybe has very wisdom, is meant by that, a mighty lion's faith. So perhaps the Lord uses a lot of power and strength to defend and to protect us. And on other side, ox very calm and peaceful face. So the Lord uses his goodness and mercy in protecting us and guiding us. Or behind the face, behind the head, there was a face of an eagle. We cannot see it here. And the Lord uses his very uh, ideas, very higher and very uh, rational thoughts and ideas in guiding us and in protecting us. But this is not all. Think about wheels and hands and feet and fire back and forth and torches like lightnings. So the Lord used all these amazing and mighty features when he governs us, when he guides us and leads us, especially when he protects us. And we call the Lord's governing his providence. So when the Lord protects us, when he is near to us, he uses all these amazing features and capabilities and skills so that we can be protected from all evil things because he is with us. Amen.